वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ लर्निंग अनरियल इंजिन फॉर बिगिनर्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न हाउ वी कैन सेट अप द फोटो बेस्ड लाइटिंग सिस्टम इन अनरियल इंजिन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर द ईयर वेर वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप सम आर्टिफिशियल लाइट सो यू गाइज कैन नो हाउ यू कैन डू द लाइटिंग ऑफ द आर्टिफिशियल एज वेल इन अनरियल इंजिन सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ आई वॉन्ट दिस सीन टू बी सम वॉट स्केरी लाइक अ डार्क रूम सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज सर्टन लाइटिंग पैरामीटर्स ईयर so let's just go to post process or let's just make this darker here so i'm going to scroll downwards and instead of 15 let's go for 17 and 17 okay as you guys can see it's not changing that much because i have locked it here in cine camera actor because if you see here it's not changing that much so let's just uh, click on our cine camera actor here and let's just check our exposure here and let's just override it here so let's just uh, go search here directly for exposure and here you can see it's not locked here but i don't know why this is happening so let's just do zero here okay and let's just do minimum and maximum to let's say 12 and 12 okay i have done it here as well but it is not updating here for some weird reason so yeah now it is getting updated but if i go here again it is not getting updated so let's just check our post process once so you can see yeah this is working perfectly fine but maybe there is some glitch or something like that because if i go outwards and if i go here somewhere where it was okay yeah here is that scene so you can see this is how it is looking here okay yeah this is the scene here which i am talking about so if i uh, check my post process here you can see here the result that we are getting so let's just change our lighting somewhat and i'm going to again go to my cine camera actor here let's just search for directional light here and let's just uh, do some changes here so instead of a 5000 let's just try 1000 okay yeah now this is darker okay let's just do maybe 500 yeah this is darker now much much darker and i want this result and one more thing i want to do that i want to basically select my skylight and just drop the intensity scale to 5 as well so i want a dark scene here this is looking nice now let's just set up our light so let's just go to lights and for artificial light we are going to use three lights here there is a spotlight rectangle light and point light so let's just start with our uh, rectangle light here first so as i drag it here you can see it's looking something like this so if i go outwards and go here okay press the g key here and let's just rotate it something like this like a 90 degree light okay i am going to turn off the snap here as well and here i am going to maybe start from here okay so let's just take this upwards here and here i'm going to push it backwards so you can see the result here as well let's just push it lot back here something like this okay and i'm going to set it to movable let's just start with 100 and now you can see the light so let's just go again go to my cine camera actor and now you can see the light here okay let's just do 50 you can see the light this is looking really good and what i can do i can increase my attenuation radius or decrease it depending on the scene so let's just do something like this yeah this is good okay and i can make it bigger so i get the softer shadows here as well okay this is looking nice let's just do a temperature of maybe because this is a cooler scene i want this to be warmer here so let's just do 4000 and you can see the result and one more thing i am going to do i am going to increase the volumetric scattering so if i do it 3 you can see we are going to get much more volumetric scattering so let's just go for 10 and you can see the result if i go for 20 you can see the result here as well okay and if i go 100 you will say it's getting blown out okay so let's just do maybe 20 here okay so there maybe there is a way here where uh, there is the sunlight so maybe if a player is playing here or something like that he can go that way but in this room this room and this room i want a darker um, like a danger light like a red light okay so i can do that as well then i can set up some spotlight as well okay so let's just look at one more light which is our point light and you can see the result here okay so if i press the g key here 
okay and if i take this inwards you can see the result of the spotlight here as well and it's getting upward as well you can see if i move it here or here depending on the location so let's just go out here this is done so i'm going to go inside here as well so you can see the result of the point light and i'm going to take it backwards here something like this okay and move it somewhere around here okay and then what i'm going to do i'm going to set it to movable here and one more thing i'm going to do i'm going to make it softer okay so i can increase the source radius here something like this and you can see the result and then i'm going to make it a reddish light something like this a danger light okay so we can definitely increase this somewhere around like this and let's just press the ok key and let's just check here so you can see now we have that danger light that is coming from here okay you can see the result here as well and i can definitely increase this to maybe 15 and you can see the result here as well okay and don't go for too much saturated values because it's not a good thing when you are doing lighting okay don't do that and then i can change the attenuation radius as well so you can see the impact yeah this is looking nice and what i can do here also i can increase the volumetric clean scattering like 3 or maybe 10 and you can see the result but i think i will keep it at one only here okay and this is looking nice let's just take a copy here and let's just do here as well so you can see it here as well so let's just go inside here as well okay here is our light and i'm going to move it here again and take it inwards here as well so if i go to my cine camera actor again you can see the result that we are getting here okay yeah this is looking perfectly fine and if you want you can also increase the soft source radius and it is going to make the light softer as well you can see in the upward size yeah this is looking much much better yeah and if i press the g key you can see the result here as well and same way i want to do it for this light as well but light let's just use a spotlight now okay or let's just use the rectangle light as well so i can definitely use the rectangle light here press the g key and just to rotate it 90 degrees here okay press the w key and move it inwards here something like this okay let's just go out of our view press the f key to select that light okay it's inward somewhere over here so i'm going to take it outwards but you can say it's not that great as it is in the point light okay so what you need to do you need to make sure that the shape is of your door itself something like this okay if you want your light basically to go here something like this okay i can do that as well and i can increase this as well intensity okay let's just decrease the attenuation radius so i'm only covering this portion okay and then what i can do i can again take the same color which is this one and you can see the result again let's just go to cine camera actor and now you can see the result here you can see okay so i press the f key by mistake okay so let's just go backwards here something like this yeah this is looking nice okay and let's just select the cine camera actor and i am going to just do some focus here okay so let's just check our focus settings and let's just draw debug focus plane and i want to focus on this door here okay something like this i want to focus so if i take this out now and if i press the g key you can see this is looking really beautiful guys now you can add a spotlight as well okay so let's just go to lights and let's just add a spotlight and as soon as i do it you can see the result of the spotlight as well so let's say if i want a spotlight here something like this you can definitely do it so from our camera i am going to take it backward because our camera is somewhere around here okay you can see it here so i'm going to maybe take it here as well something like this okay and then you can play with your uh, basically intensity as you know okay and one more thing i can do i can just decrease or increase the attenuation radius make the inner corn angle so the light gets blur out you can see the result here as well okay and you can definitely increase the source radius or decrease it depending on your scene 
and let's just check it out how this is looking and now you can see we are getting that light here okay this is looking really good and what i can do i can just play a bit let's like a temp so you can see it's popping out here so now you can see this is looking good so what i can do i can just spread it out as well okay to somewhere over like this as well so i can just do something like this and you can see it's a combination of two lights so this is looking good like a warmer and a cooler tone so if i go to here now you can see the result and i can do the same thing here as well you can see this is looking nice and one more copy here something like this okay i don't want this to be that much lighter because i want my scene to go like this and then what i can do i can select the spotlight here and just reduce it to maybe four okay so you can say it's not that much but it's looking really good here see you can see the details here okay so this is looking nice and maybe you can go for five as well okay and one more thing you can do you can go for temperature and let's just maybe do 2000 and you can see this is how it is looking here okay so i don't want this much so i'm going to go to 5000 here okay this is looking nice this is looking good and now what i'm going to do maybe i will reduce the directional light a bit more for this scene as well so if i go maybe from 500 to 300 this is going to look much more better yeah this is looking nice and let's just go to our post process volume here let's just make sure that infinite is turned on yeah definitely it is turned on let's just go here as well okay you can definitely add one more light here as well okay where it is blinking okay if you want to do it you can definitely do that as well but i think this is looking nice here okay yeah one more thing i want to show you guys uh, before ending this session if you take a point light here if i press the g key right now you can see it's looking something like this but what you can do you can just switch this to movable i am going to make this smaller here and one thing i can do is this source length here okay so if i increase it here and if i rotate it like this you can see this source length here okay and i can play with the settings here which is our source radius so you can see i'm making a shape here so something like this you can definitely make and what you can do you can use this as a light element if there is the light here okay you can do something like this here as well and definitely you need to make sure that it um, it matches here okay so i want to rotate this as well so let's just check this out here okay and if i do something like this yeah this is looking nice and then what i can do i can check here as well yeah so something like this you can see the result here as well okay something like this and then i can make this length shorter something like this and then i can play with the source radius as well so let's just do maybe three yeah now you can see the result okay and then what i can do i can press the w key and move it somewhere around like this okay you can see the result here as well okay and if i go to my camera you can see the result this is how it is looking okay and then i can take this downward to like two or something like that okay maybe uh let's just check here by selecting and deselecting it okay maybe point one yeah just a tad bit so you can see the result here as well so this is looking nice here so if i press the g key and select this and if i turn on and off you can see the result this is actually looking nice so you can use this if you want or else you can definitely ignore this depending on your requirement what you want to achieve okay so you can see we get that shadow here as well which we were not getting earlier of the light so you can do that or if you don't want to use it you can definitely ignore this so this is looking nice and one more thing i think i will drop my sky light as well so from five to maybe two yeah now the scene feels lot lot better okay so what i can do else also uh i can definitely play with the color here of my rectangle light which is this light here okay you can see the result here okay maybe if you want to be on a cooler side you can take this to 10,000 and you can see the result 
but i think warmer looks good here into my scene so you can see the result here 4000 okay yeah this is looking really good and let's just uh, go for full screen here by pressing the f11 key and i'm going to make sure uh, that i am viewing my screen percentage to let's say 150 so we actually get that sharpness here and now you can see this is this scene is looking really beautiful with the lighting so you know how we started and how we have ended this okay you can play with the values a lot you can add small small lights here like a light this is coming from this side or maybe if you want to let audience feel that there is a light behind this as well okay so you can do that as well by adding a uh, one more light here like a point light okay just go here add a point light something like this okay just make it upwards here something like this and you can see we are getting this light but you can go to movable just do something like three and you can do a light like this so you can see we get that light here as well and if you want to go for a blue color okay you can go for like this and maybe you can just tweak it a little bit something like this and you can see just by adding one light you are getting this result but you can see we are getting this sharp shadow so what i can do i can increase the source radius so we get that blur result okay so i hope you guys enjoy this video and you have learned something new about lighting you can really uh, do lot lot better things with the help of lighting and you can really change your scene mood with the help of lighting in unreal engine i hope you guys enjoy this two part series on beginner lighting series okay uh, i will see you next time so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine and specifically lighting i will see you next time till then take care and press that like button bye bye guys